Hello, my friends. This is Anton speaking, and you're watching the Speeds Boost channel. We Russians have uh, always uh, loved uh, the tinctures, and I am not an exception. Well, as for me, my favorite one is a uh, Croatian Travarica, and uh, I could also mark some. Uh, uh, Pirtsovkas from Russia and Ukraine, the horseradish uh, tincture called Hrinavuha, and many, many others. But, well, as for me, I would prefer a real vodka, because this is a, a drink more universal than all those tincture, and vodka could be drunk uh, with practically anything. But this very video is uh, special because uh, one of my colleagues, a blogger, a distiller, whose name is Alexander Mochalov, has uh, provided me two bottles of his Tom Yum tincture. And as long as uh, for now I do not have an answer, well, a precise answer on how to drink a tincture, what to drink it with, uh, I would make a degustation. And let's give it a try. So, what do we have? We have two bottles. One of them is a Tom Yum tincture as it is. Well, 42% of, of alcohol and 100 grams per volume. And the second one is uh, aged in a barrel for 339 days. It is recommended to try that as it is and then pour some water to have the drinking strength. And this one is 57% uh, of alcohol. So this is a, a stronger one. Well, let us start our degustation. Well, to make the degustation, I have two Glencairn glasses. They are the same, so uh, the dish, the glasses I will, will drink it from, won't, won't affect the quality and won't affect the result. So, let us give it a try. Hmm, the smell is nice. Well, this is a simple one. And the barrel one. I won't be having any snacks this time because I want to get my pleasure from the drink. Well, as you can see, the difference in the color is quite enormous because, uh, well, one is uh, barreled, one is simple. Hmm. But they smell really different. This one is uh, another herbal spirit drink and this one is much sweeter. Come on, this is really sweet. Yeah. But as long as this is the um, weaker one, let's start with it. But having breathed, I do have some notes of lime. Yeah, lime. And some notes of candy. Don't really know what, but they're really candy notes. Yeah, the first wave of taste is uh, giving us some lemongrass, some touch of citrus notes, and this is the principal thing in a taste. Mm. Now, afterwards, there comes a the pepper, the black pepper. Okay, 
Let's take a look at the stronger one. The smell is still sweet. Well, this one is a uh, smoother, though stronger one. It doesn't have the lemongrass and citrus notes, but the pepper is uh, being felt much more. Okay, another touch. Hmm. Hmm. Well, as for me, I would really prefer the unbarreled version, which has not been to the barrel. But as for the stronger version, well, this is a thing to enjoy with. And now, as Alexander has recommended, I would add some water to the drinking strength. I do have some water already in an old Soviet glass. Hmm. 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 Well, my friends, and my verdict is surely both examples should be drunk as it is. And uh, they're both really interesting. But I would surely go on with uh, the version which has not been to the barrel. So, cheers my friends and let me drink to your uh, likes, to your comments and uh, to your activity on my channel. But before I finish, you know what I think? I think that this very stuff would be perfect to be drunk with uh, uh, ginger ale, like the sparkling drink uh, used to make uh, Moscow Mule, Glasgow Mule, and it would surely go fine with any ginger sort of stuff. And now I would... Uh, really finalize this video and uh, cheers thanks alexander to well thanks alexander to his uh, for his uh, um present and see you on further videos it was anton and the speeds booze channel thank you very much and goodbye